I'm David Kraft, Editor-in-Chief of Workboat Magazine and Workboat.com. We are at the 41st edition of the International Workboat Show, and the first show in two years. And on my left is uh, Kevin Carlin, the president of Yamar. Oh, sorry, that's you're Kevin. I'm Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> You're making me look good. <laughs> uh, Kevin Carlin is the president of Yammer Marine International Americas, and immediately to my left is, is Carl Mc, McHugh. McHugh. Who, McHugh is the division manager of uh, Power Solutions, and today we have three questions for uh, the Yammer people, and here we are. So, either one of you can take the first stab at the first question is what, why, do you, why do you exhibit at the Workforce Show? And, do you want the workboat and what do you want the workboat show audience to know in particular about Yammer? Sure, yeah. So, workboat, it's a place to meet the decision makers. Right. It's the first show we've had in two years, face to face, getting back out and meeting people. Um, it's always that place where you can learn a little bit. Um, just talking to friends. I've been in the industry 41 years, so the friendships to reunite and everything. So that's good. <laughs> and from my, what we want them to know about Yanmar, we're a global company, uh, 100 plus years old. Um, our products are, are operating everywhere. You know, our mission is about sustainability. Yeah. I think it also gives us an opportunity, especially with our two companies joining together, to really show how complete of a lineup Yanmar has. I mean, we start way down at 15 horsepower and we're adding up in the ship proposal. So uh, I think at this show we probably have the largest, most complete line of the So you can hit all markets? All markets. All, markets, all, almost all, all applications. All vessel types. Yep. Emissions. Uh, now this is a general, but you have to keep up with it. What, what is the outlook for the uh, commercial marine engine sector that you are a big part of? Yeah, so Carl could speak uh, for, the, for the larger engines, yeah, so 100 and si above 160 bore, millimeter bore engines, right. um, you know, emissions is out there, reliability, durability is always key, light cycle cost is always key, so that's where we are, are approaching, what we're looking at, and what new technologies are for carbon neutral applications also. So, and then on, on the smaller engine side, you know, we're looking at electrification, and it's easier on, on uh, you know, smaller day-type boats or, or um, you know, boats with short emissions. Right. Um, we've got some hybrid solutions that we've developed, some prototypes that are currently being tested uh, in a couple horsepower range, which could be scaled up uh, in the calls range. Um, and then, obviously, um, it's been a lot in the press, but Yanmar has partnered with Toyota to do a test on a fuel cell system. It's a scaled test currently in a 38-foot vessel, um, but just to uh, to show that it's viable and that it could be scaled up. Well, the, the third question, I guess we kind of covered it, but you had to talk about what products are you guys, Myanmar, uh, developing towards you know, carbon neutral. So if you want to elaborate a little bit, you've touched on it already. Yeah, from the larger size, we have dual fuel engines, so they run on natural gas. Um, we have four different models, ranging from about 500 horsepower to 6,100 horsepower. Um, so they're set up so you can run a single engine, single shaft, so they meet all the redundancy requirements. So the dual fuel is for the larger engines, and as Kevin mentioned, the hydro hydrogen and fuel cells, the smaller. And I guess this, the final may get four questions, is we're really interested to hear from the exhibitors how the show is going this year and what they expect. We're, sure. main, we're mainly happy just to prevent the show, to, yeah. to come on a show and start the face-to-face, -face, but it seems, seems to us it's looking good. Well, I can say from a 35-year venture yeah. uh, at the show, right. I mean, I go back to the Superdome days, right? Yeah. Oh. So um, it's it's the number of exhibitors. I think is what I was expecting. Right. I think booth traffic might be down a little bit based on yesterday, but 
today will be a different day. The second day is always better than the first day. So, right. But I think it's hidden the mark of what uh, we expected, what I expected. Yeah. I think everybody was ready to get back face to face. I mean, we've got great technology with virtual right. meeting availability. Nothing's like face to face. I agree. Okay, well, thank you guys. Uh, from day two at the International Warfare Show.